I think growth and climate change are two major water challenges for management today. And those present major challenges for water utilities and just management overall. Intera is the world leader when it comes to uh, subsurface visualization and groundwater modeling. We've been around for 50 years and that's really the DNA of the company. And it's really key because one of the things I love about working with groundwater is that you can never see what you're working with. So that's why subsurface visualization is so important, not just to develop understanding of the systems that we're working with, but also to communicate that to stakeholders, to managers who are really making the decisions that drive you know, resilience and sustainability. The engineers and scientists in, in Terra are doing what needs to be done to kind of generate the data that's needed to solve these problems. The need for that data has changed. The kind of quality of that data all of a sudden is important. That is what we bring. We bring that kind of insight into the whole story of water resources management. The Central Indiana Water Study precipitated the Hamilton County and Morgan County projects to look at the water demand and the water availability of the whole Central Indiana region. For that project, we were able to examine the water budget for the whole region and determine that there is enough water for everyone, but we need to manage that water in such a way that we avoid conflicts and so we need to both pay attention and we also need to develop tools that will enable us to have the data necessary to make sure that the water resources will be there for the long term. The data dashboard that we developed for these two counties really helps them answer their different questions. So in Hamilton County, the question really was how can we keep ourselves from having conflicts over water, and how can we maximize the use of the water when it's available? We need both. From Morgan County's perspective, the water is there, but it needs to be as clean as possible. So there's a push in the Morgan County side to get better treatment for wastewater. The dashboard really provides all the data sets necessary for everyone to get on board with the status of the water resources in their county. Where we are now with having the, the tools for the water management in the future, we're in a good position. Knowing where the water availability is, and more importantly where it isn't, we can help guide future development into those areas or away from those areas. This is a nascent step for us. We're just now bringing everybody together, but we've been fortunate you know, and Tara has helped us bring to the table gravel pits and water utilities and sewer operators. And if we all work together in a you know, symbiotic relationship as opposed to an adversarial one, we know that we can plan for our future and have water for many more years to come. In California, water management depends a lot on the hydrogeologic cycle and where rainfall occurs and participation occurs in California. It snows in the mountains, water is stored in that snowpack in the mountains, and in the springtime it melts. So management of the water depends on you know, where we have reservoirs and where we store that water, and then how we transport that water to where the demands are. Demands are largely in Southern California and, and in the Bay Area, so water agencies throughout the state are managing how we transport that water throughout the state so we can meet the demands where they are. We use groundwater models as a planning tool in order to evaluate different water management scenarios. We have a saline plume that's been trapped behind in one of our basins, so we're able to use the groundwater model in order to figure out how to extract that water from the basin, but then also how to put water back in the basin so we can balance that out. With respect to resiliency, we have a massive amount of space available in our basin, and so we want to be able to utilize that space. And one way to do that is to model areas that we could put extraction wells in the basin, pump more water, and then also put injection wells in those areas in order to balance the pumping. And so that's the key way that we use groundwater models for our basin. Intera is an expert in this field of groundwater modeling, subsurface visualization, and that's really attractive to a organization like ours. The Leo J. Vanderlands, or LVL as we lovingly call it, Injection Well Project, is a very, very innovative and exciting project. 
So Intera was part of a large team that partnered with the Water Management District on all aspects of this project. We did a lot of modeling to understand, you know, what were the existing sort of groundwater supplies and how taking this excess water from the LVL facility, injecting it into the ground, how that would change groundwater aquifer levels and improve water supplies in the, in the basin. And ultimately, when the injection well was going into the ground, we were part of the crew that oversaw construction, and now we're helping optimize the operation of the injection well and make sure that you know, it maintains the capacity that we've targeted in terms of the yield of the aquifer. I think these projects are a really good example of how water management will look in the future, where we're focused on regional planning, stakeholder engagement, and providing everyone who's interested with a voice about their water resources. So when I think of the future of water management, the three words come to mind, diversification, innovation, and precision. What needs to happen is we need to look at all available water supplies. Innovation has to be part of the solution because with all the challenges we face, we need to use technology, we need, we, we need to use models and data to solve those challenges. With all the volatility that we're seeing in, in hydrology, with climate change, and some of the scarcity that we have with water supplies and, and competing demands, we have to manage and operate our water projects with a lot more precision.